This is the Nestlab Thermoflex 1400 recirculating chiller. It has an air-cooled refrigeration system, a digital controller with a user interface. It has a temperature range of plus 5 degrees to plus 40 degrees. It has a cooling capacity at 20 degrees C with a 60 hertz system of 1400 watts. It has a uh, positive displacement, uh, again with a 60 hertz system, of 4.1 gallons per minute at 60 PSI. I'll show you some of the features. Before I even turn it on, this is always very convenient. You can pop this off and periodically clean all the dust out of here so you keep the condenser uh, grill very clean. I like that. Uh, turning it on, we have one switch in the power switch in the back. Oop, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. Now once the main breaker has been thrown, you can push the switch, power switch right here. Um, it has a 1.9 gallon reservoir. This is really nice. Uh, this is how you fill a reservoir and it has a built-in funnel, which is very convenient. The sight glass is easy to see. And it's been sitting all night. We just started it up this morning. Um, just very quickly, you can change the set point by pushing the mode button once. You can raise it or lower it. And for now, we're going to just leave it at room temperature 20 degrees C. Push that again. Now what we're going to let this do is we're going to let this cool down for a few minutes until it reaches 20 degrees C. And then what I'm going to do is turn on an active load uh, on the water here. Uh, we've set this up. It works very well. This is a 1400 watt immersible heater. So once that's down to the 20 degrees C, we will turn on the heater. And again, the specification is that it has to be able to hold 20 degrees C for uh, at 1400 watts for a total of one hour. So we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll see how we're doing. Okay, we're now at 20 degrees C. I'm going to go over here and throw the breaker on the load. Now, take a look at the meters you'll see that I've adjusted this for 140 volts and 9, 10, 12, at 10 amps 140 times 10 is 1400 watts and what we'll do is we'll let this run for about an hour and um, I'll time this and we'll come back in about an hour and see how we're doing. Uh, initially when I run this test, um, it'll surge up a little bit, but you'll see within just a few minutes that it'll come back down to 20 and it'll hold there for an hour. So we'll come back in an hour and see how we're doing under load. It's been about one hour. And it's holding pretty well. It's about 20 and a half, so it's gone up about a half a degree uh, in an hour with the, oh, a little bit more, about a half degree with the um, 1400 watt load. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the load and we're going to test the temperatures. Uh, the high range is plus 40 degrees. Enter that and we'll come back in a little bit and see how it's doing. We've reached up to 40C, a little bit above, 
this is the high temperature maximum. Now we'll change the set point. down to its minimum, which is uh, 5 degrees C, and we'll come back in a little bit and see how it does. Okay, we've returned. We're now down to um, plus 5 degrees C, which is the minimum temperature for this unit. Uh, the only other thing I'd like to mention is that it has a specification for flow rate of 4 gallons per minute. And you read at the top here, see, read top of flow. And we're at almost four and a half. So this is a pretty strong uh, circulator. Uh, the only other thing to remember about this unit is that it is a 120 volt unit uh, from the wall. However, keep in mind that it requires a 20 amp 120 volt plug. You notice that the pin is uh, turned here. So you you will need at least a 20 amp supply. And that completes this demonstration of the Thermoflex 1400.